Well, we're going to have some damaging thunderstorms in the uh, high and uh, central plains as we go through our Tuesday night. Uh, I'm AccuWeather.com meteorologist. Well, we're going to have some damaging thunderstorms in the uh, high and uh, central plains as we go through our Tuesday night. Uh, I'm AccuWeather.com meteorologist Bernie Reno. All right, the. Uh, the energy that's going to help focus these thunderstorms is so all these high clouds coming into California. Believe it or not, this is going to be the energy that's going to come up and around the ridge. Uh, by the, uh, Tuesday afternoon, we'll start uh, firing the storms in the central plains. And then, I mean, I think we're looking at a complex of rain and thunderstorms that will probably be preceded by a squall line. This could be a fairly long lived squall line with damaging winds. I'll go over the setup here. Uh, let, let's just go right ahead, and this is the upper level uh, for uh, Tuesday morning. So what we have going on here, upper level high. So the reason I'm mentioning this, this is where you have the heat, all right? Heat, so what, and this is the upper level uh, for uh, Tuesday morning. So what we have going on here, upper level high. So the reason I'm mentioning this, this is where you have the heat, all right? Here, and you can see this red uh, across Utah. This is the energy that's off the California coast. And again, this is going to come up and around that upper level ridge. So here we go, Tuesday morning, here's your ridge across uh, Texas. That's where the building heat is. You've got this energy coming up and around. That's Tuesday morning. This is the energy that's off the California coast. And again, this is going to come up and around that upper level ridge. So here we go. Tuesday morning, here's your ridge across uh, Texas. That's where the building heat is. You've got this energy coming up and around. That's Tuesday morning. Here we go, Tuesday afternoon. There's the energy. Here's the high pressure system. So a pretty strong upper level feature coming around the high pressure system. And then... Um, Again, this is uh, by uh, uh, Tuesday evening. So Tuesday morning, Tuesday evening, and then this is midnight. So it comes around midnight, Wednesday morning. So it comes around that upper level high. So dynamically, you're bringing this piece of energy up and around the ridge, all right? Strong piece of energy for this time of the year. At the same time, you'll notice that you have ample moisture coming in out of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, when I talk about energy, um, there's a couple of ways I show it. First, you have the 500 millibars. That's what I'm showing now. This is the energy. But look at the low-level jet. Wind equals energy, right? Look at this low-level jet. This is, um, time frame on this is Tuesday evening. So what we have is this energy coming across the plains in the low levels. You're bringing all this wind into the equation. Take a look at this. This is uh, Tuesday afternoon. 40 to 45 knots, so the low-level jet is telling you it's going to fire in here across Nebraska. Now watch what happens around midnight. See, this is going to be not true nocturnal, but 
this, these showers and thunderstorms, you think of thunderstorms that diminish at night. I think they're actually going to get stronger. You're going to get thunderstorms that form in Nebraska, then it comes south and east. The low-level jet is intensifying as we go through the latter half of Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Not true nocturnal, but this, these showers and thunderstorms, you think of thunderstorms that diminish at night. I think they're actually going to get stronger. You're going to get thunderstorms that form in Nebraska, then it comes south and east. The low-level jet is intensifying as we go through the latter half of Tuesday night. Tuesday evening, this is around midnight, and then it continues to move uh, into the Midwest by midnight. So, actually, the time frame on this is uh, by morning. Wednesday morning. So this low-level jet, which starts out Tuesday evening, actually strengthens Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So this complex of thunderstorms is not going to diminish during the nighttime. In fact, to me, it's going to get stronger. So these thunderstorms will get stronger and more widespread as we go through Tuesday night. So you have all this energy in the form of this upper-level piece of energy coming around the ridge coming around high pressure, you could see it manifesting itself with this low level jet. So all this wind energy coming in to help feed the thunderstorms. The other thing you have going for you here is that with underneath this upper high, guess what you have? You have lots of heat, all right? These are the projected temperatures uh, Tuesday afternoon, 95, 100 degrees in West Texas. And when you remember that you have all this wind that has taken this heat and ramming it northward in the colder air aloft with the northwest flow and that upper piece of energy, because that's what a short wave is. It's a cold piece, it's a, a puddle of cold air aloft. It goes around the ridge. See, upping it northward in the colder air aloft with the northwest flow and that upper piece of energy, because that's what a short wave is. It's a cold piece, it's a, a puddle of cold air aloft. It goes around the ridge. All of this heat being transported northward, you're going to get a complex of rain and thunderstorms. It starts thunderstorms in the Nebraska, and I think that's when you have to, early afternoon and in the evening, you have to worry about tornadoes with this. And I think it's mostly west of Omaha. But as we go through Tuesday night, it becomes more of, I think, a squall line with rain behind it. So you can get damaging winds with this as this squall line moves now this energy in the form of this 95, 100, all of this heat being transported northward, you're going to get a comp, right? Shut up, stupid dog.